we just made it to Lake Como, Italy. And I think in Nashville right now, it's like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. The time change has definitely been wearing on us, but we're in high spirits because we got here smoothly and all of our bags arrived and we just checked into our first hotel, which they ended up upgrading our room. I think we're here kind of like during their off season, so they had this upgrade available, so. Have you guys ever heard of travel credit cards? <laughs> not, not yeah, we, that, got a, oh we got a Venture X one and they have this program where Oh, that's fun. If you have their travel credit card and you book a hotel through their card, they'll automatically give you an upgrade if they have one. And so they had one. But look at these sinks. Wait, the and the balcony. Oh, a tub. I'm not a bath person, but honestly, that does sound very nice right now. In the room. Indoor, outdoor living. It's a little chilly, but it's, it's not like too cold. Dude, when the inside floor carries out to the outside floor, that's when it honestly feels really good. It just feels like a crisp fall yeah. day. Outdoor sitting area. We just saw someone take one of the little boats out. I just stood in the rain shower for like 15 minutes. I wasn't gonna wash my hair, but I was like, feeling so nasty from the flight. In case you missed my last couple of vlogs, Jason and I are here in Italy for our baby moon, which is definitely very early to take a baby moon. We're actually 16 weeks this week, but this kind of fell at a really good time because we really wanted to catch Lake Como kind of clearing off of the super busy tourist season, kind of going into fall. And then we figured we weren't gonna take a baby moon probably like in January or December and I wanted to take it earlier than later so that I'd have energy and feel good. So it worked out to come kind of mid-October and it's a little bit chilly today. I think today might be the coldest day that we're gonna have here and then once we go to Florence, uh, it's gonna warm up and then we'll be in Florence and Tuscany countryside where it should be a little bit nicer, but we are in Lake Como for five days, I think including today. And then we'll head to Florence for five days and then we'll do Lake Como. So I'll probably break this whole trip up into two separate vlogs, but we had a really, really incredible flight as you guys saw in the little like intro montage. j has decided to book the Delta One seats, which were so incredible. We've never done anything like that before. And that itself felt like the whole vacation. We got to have access to the lounges because when you buy those tickets, you also have lounge access, which we've never done that before. So we got to do the lounge in Nashville, which is like a brand new lounge. And they have like a breakfast bar and like mimosas and coffee and orange juice and like basically anything you want, kind of like unlimited. So we got to do that. And then we ended up having a connection in Atlanta. So when we got to Atlanta, our connection, I think, was maybe like, like a three-hour layover. So it was kind of long. We ended up taking advantage of the lounge in Atlanta as well. Had lunch there. Got a ton of work done that I was probably going to have to do on this trip. But I got it done. So I'm feeling really good about that. And then we had our... I think it was only seven and a half hours, maybe eight hour flight from Atlanta to Milan, which felt really, really fast. And basically we got to sit in the little Delta One. They weren't like pods, but they were like little sections. So Jason and I got to sit next to each other. And we originally were in these seats that one of the tray tables was broken. And somehow there was like a miracle off chance that one person had an empty seat next to them. So we actually got to switch with this really sweet woman so that we could have two working trays, which in hindsight, I'm so glad that we actually asked to do that because we didn't realize that the Delta One experience is basically just like eating the entire time. So it's like the second you get on the plane, they like show you where your seat is and they hand you drinks before you even take off. And then it's like, as soon as you get in the air, it's like an appetizer course where you get Best like- Best is back. Best is back. <laughs> Back. It's a fire fit though. Thanks, That's babe. nice. Let's just go. Lululemon vest. Like a, Aber, this is Abercrombie, yeah. Yeah. Like this is so nice. Wonder about the ground. Did you know that you've sold like three or four cardigans? Huh? Yeah. People love your style. I mean, it's a great cardigan. We'll link it down below. But it's so, it sells itself. <laughs> it's true. You don't need to even advertise that. It's the water blade. The water blade? Oh, it's so pretty. The claws are like hanging low right now. But basically, you get like an appetizer course, which is like five different things. So we had like soup and salad and a roll 
and there was like another, I can't remember what it was. I think it was like smoked salmon, which I didn't eat because I wasn't sure if that was pregnancy safe. I don't know. My doctor said if meats aren't like super, super fresh or cooked to avoid it. I don't know. I just didn't want to take a chance on a flight like that. So anyway, that was like the first course. And then you have your actual, well, actually no, they started with warm mixed nuts. So you had a little dish of nuts first with either like a wine or like a just sparkling water. And then you had your appetizer course. And then you have your entree, which you can like book in advance. So Jason and I both got the short rib with the mashed potatoes and I think it was green beans. It was really, really good. Honestly, by like the end of the appetizer course, I was like almost full. So I definitely was just like, I'm gonna just keep going. But the food was actually so good. Like I was shocked how good it was for a flight. And then after that, you got to choose a dessert so they had like an ice cream sundae or they had cheesecake with cherries and then there was one other dessert i think it was like an assorted cheese plate i got the ice cream sundae and then a decaf coffee and by that point i'm so tired because i'm just so full and i just want to lay down so when the delta one like seats they actually can recline to bed mode where they lay pretty much flat so we reclined i fell asleep for maybe like a couple hours just kind of in and out i don't think i slept super well i'm honestly really really tired so after i like do my skincare and hair i'm gonna go lay down probably but so jay wasn't asleep very well at all on the plane so i don't know how much like vlogging or stuff we're gonna do today honestly probably not much i think he's actually gonna go down and see if there's like a lunch menu or something in the restaurant I'm not that hungry. I just feel like, oh, this morning too, when we woke up on the plane, an hour before we landed, Jason like woke me up and they set like an entire breakfast in front of me. And I was like, I woke up 20 seconds ago. How am I supposed to eat this right now? So anyway, I am really not that hungry. They also had snacks when we got here at this hotel. And then they welcomed j -Laws with an Americano and like tiny cookies. So, I mean, we've just been living it up already and it's day one, but we're staying at a hotel called Il Sereno, which is like right on the lake. I showed you guys and it's so beautiful so beautiful it's honestly like really really dead right now i think maybe because we just missed their like busy tourist season we're like starting the off season but that's kind of how jay was and i roll i feel like every time we take a vacation it's either pre-season or like right after busy season so it honestly feels like we kind of have this whole hotel to ourselves. but jay was took a bath i took a shower I'm gonna brush my hair and then I honestly might just go sit out on the little patio and watch the boats and then we're gonna probably just grab a really casual dinner. So I'll probably pick back up with you guys tomorrow when we're actually doing something but I wanted to give you guys an update on our travel day and our hotel check-in. It is actually the next next day. So I think the last time I vlogged was actually two days ago. So the day that we got in to Lake Como. Basically, it has been raining since we got here. So yesterday it rained all day. Today it's been raining pretty much all day, kind of off and on. But yesterday, because it was raining so much and we were so jet lagged and tired, we ended up just chilling at the hotel and like taking a nap. And we ended up eating at the hotel and just, it was very, very restful for us, which I think we really, really needed. I honestly felt so guilty being here and taking the first day to just like be in the hotel and chill. But now, we're out and we actually just drove 45 minutes to a town called Bellagio, which is around the lake as well. I think it's one of the three kind of major towns slash cities around the lake. But again, it's raining. So we've been driving around for the last like 25 minutes trying to find parking and definitely glad we rented a car, but also the logistics of trying to find somewhere to park. We're in a spot right now. It's super, super small. All the cars here are tiny because the roads here are so narrow and all of the parking spots are teeny teeny tiny. So we're parallel parked on the side of the road, like two minute walk from the actual town 
Jaywaz is trying to figure out paying to park right now. It's looking like it's a little bit challenging. It feels like everything here for us has been challenging. I don't know why. It might just be we're unfamiliar with how things work here, but we're definitely feeling very, very American. And it's it's pretty obvious that we don't know what to do here. No, the time is 14.30. Oh. <laughs> Can you have parking when the machine is only in Italian? <laughs> Everything is harder when it's in a different language. Oh my god. We're living our Italian dream. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, come to Italy, it's the best. This has been our experience so far. But we made it, we're parked. To, we're, be, to be fair. We've ruined our shoes. Yeah, to be fair, at least I'm not a Nuggies, first of all. True. And secondly, I think somewhere in my subconscious i remember hearing that october is rainy season but i just kind of thought eh, it'll be fun. <laughs> that's not a thing <laughs> oh well from awning to awning we go <laughs> Do I look like I'm walking on ice right now? <laughs> yeah, Jaywa slipped like a little bit, so now he's scared. Which, it is very, very slippery on these stones. We're getting out of the rain for a little midday lunch. We've got our pizza and our pesto pasta coming. And they don't cut the pizzas. Jaywa's got his wine, his belt bag. All has been redeemed. <laughs> our pesto pasta, which smells so fresh. Yum. <laughs> wow, we are like on the water. This is so beautiful. All right, we drove to Verena, which is it was like 30, 40 minutes from where we were earlier. And we really wanted to try to just tough out the rain and still experience some of Italy. <laughs> But there is like a giant windstorm that's coming through right now, and we're soaking wet. Update, we did find coffee and tiramisu, but we already ate it. And I forgot to show you guys, but it was really good. You couldn't tell. The rule is always get tiramisu. And my decaf, cappuccino. Morning. It is the next day and Jay Waz and I had breakfast in the room again sitting on our balcony looking over the lake It actually was so gloomy this morning when we first woke up But as you guys can see now the Sun has broken through the first clouds sun We've seen in Italy. We're starting to <laughs> think they didn't have the Sun here <laughs> But um, they do. I'm happy to report. <laughs> but today, tell them how I started the day, babe. <laughs> no, no, no. We know where you're going. No, 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 no. Let me just backtrack. I gotta set the scene. No, this morning we actually took a little walk around the town that our hotel is in. It was really beautiful. We had an espresso by the water. And then it started to rain, so we walked back to the hotel. I ended up grabbing a change of clothes because I think we might do some photos with the photographer who is also here in, in Como at the same time, who's originally from Michigan. She saw that we were here on my Instagram and she was like, I'm heading to Como today with my husband. If you guys want to do some photos. And I was like, that would be really special to do photos like for a baby moon in Italy like when would we ever do that again so I think we're gonna do that kind of later in the evening but we ended up going back to the hotel kind of refreshed because we walked back in the rain and now we are driving is this Como we're already this here oh wow that's so close to where we are so now we're driving through Como which is actually a lot cuter in the sunlight I say, holy cow there was a super cute street over there I feel it like Como so looked so depressing when we drove through it the first day because it was so gloomy but everything is cuter in the Sun but anyway so <laughs> I am dying <laughs> at our hotel we have a valet service that will like pull the car up because they keep all the cars in the garage and so we had our car brought up because we knew we wanted to drive to Menaggio. Menaggio? Yeah. And <laughs> no, I said it right. I just wanted to make sure. Anyway, so the the driver guy who pulled our car up was like, oh, where are you guys headed into town today? And I was like, I can't remember. I was like, it starts with an M, but we're going to drive through Como. And then Jay was said, Maggiano. <laughs> the Italian it's innocent. I, the little I wasn't even Russian. trolling. I just, it just came it's out. It's so close. Look at this park. Como is so beautiful. Um, we haven't so even been here. I know. So it's been I've been crying. She has been ruining her makeup. <laughs> I've literally been shedding tears over this. <laughs> 
I don't even know if um, they know what Machianos is, but just the fact that but that's... we do. <laughs> Hold on. So anyway, we're headed to Menasho. And um, oh my gosh. I just had to share that because it really got me. Oh, this has been the whole trip, just like us embarrassing ourselves in every circumstance. <laughs> Just made it to Menajo and it's not raining too bad. It's like misting, but I did just hear a crack of thunder. So we're just gonna pray that the rain holds off at least until we get in a cute coffee shop or restaurant or something. Looks like there's a patisserie place over there. Ooh. For some pastries and coffee. This is the place. Cas Casera, Casera Moratti. What you need to know is it's in Magianos. They have a great pastry selection. <laughs> We're trying Menagio. so hard. We're in Menagio. My brother Love. It tastes like the. It's like fudge on the outside. Mm. That place on maps said it was like a $4 stein patisserie and there weren't any prices when we ordered our stuff. So I was thinking it was gonna be like 30 bucks. It was $7 for all of that, for the espresso and- Seven euros. Oh, seven sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Seven Good euros. Work. So oh. a little bit more than $7, but a bargain. So now we're out, we're walking around. The rain has kind of parted a little bit. We've got- Good. Prada shades here. Oh, but it looks closed. One thing we've noticed is that it feels like this time of the year a lot of stuff is closed, which I guess is to be expected if you come after their busy season. All right, we stopped for some um, pasta, of course, at the Vino 13. Shout out, there's their Instagram right there. Helpful. It's nice they have that. Yeah. We got ravioli. And Carbona, I think that's, that's what yours was. We've noticed also that every single place here plays cover versions of American songs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we just finished up our lunch, which was so good. And the rain cleared, so we're back out in Maggiano. Managio. <laughs> And um, you guys can see the, the sky's parted a little bit. It's like the sun has been trying all day, but it's so pretty. All right, we are back in Como and we're meeting Emma, the photographer, for some photos. And I got changed. We got blue skies. We got blue skies, so we're hoping the pictures will not be with these nasty green umbrellas. <laughs> They're literally so neon. <laughs> But um, did some makeup touch-ups in the car. Put on my dress in the car. Making it happen. Ready? Just look at each other. Yeah, yeah. So cute. <laughs> They're just socks. They're just what I've had. They're just socks. My sock. We just finished up our photos with Emma, which was so fun. So glad we did that. But now we are walking around Como, which is so cute. It's so much bigger than the town that we're staying in and then the other ones that we have visited. It's honestly so precious. Stopped for dinner. We're only splitting a single bowl of soup. <laughs> this is the starter. It's good though. I thought it's good. It's like a pumpkin soup. I got the lasagna. Nice, which it looks was fire. highly recommended. And then Jay was? Steak. 
next day. Good morning! It is the next day. After Jaywaz and I finished up dinner, a huge storm rolled in. So we like hustled out of Como, got back to our hotel and just watched the rain. This morning we are gonna take one of the boats out on the lake because it's actually a really beautiful day. But I'm actually in the, <laughs> the downstairs lobby bathroom. It's so beautiful. Look at this marble towel holder in the middle of the sink. Anyway, we're gonna go on the boats now. Doc is definitely moving and grooving. <laughs> you guys can see the sun peeking out over there. beautiful she is. Look how cute that little white building is up there though. Look at the sun peeking out. Yay! We are now back in Como. Nice. <laughs> There's a dog running. <laughs> And um, we're gonna be spending the day here because this has so far been, I would say like only our favorite because there's there's actually like a lot to do here. The other towns were really, really cute and like very picturesque. This one feels definitely like a little bit more touristy, but I feel like because we spent so many days kind of doing nothing, it feels good to be in a really like populated area because everywhere we went in the other towns, the there was no one. Yeah, I feel like we're around like the Broadway of, of Italy, but honestly, don't mind it, but we're gonna try to take one of those like buses on tracks up to a town that's like on the top of the mountain. Oh, he doesn't want to try to pronounce it. Because I just, I can't. I can't pronounce this the one. Funky Lore. It's not the Funky Lore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. I don't know. Um, and I think there's like a town up there that we'll probably have like some restaurants and we'll just kind of get to walk around up there. It is a Sunday though, so it's definitely a lot busier. It's also like the nicest day we've had in five days. So I think there's just a lot of people here. So we're gonna try to get tickets. If not, we will just walk around and explore Como. stopped for lunch at the top of the mountain and guys look at this view it's insane <laughs> got a caprese salad and I got a glass of wine. <laughs> they just brought it out, but obviously Jay West is gonna drink it. How beautiful! Classic pasta with tomato sauce. Jay West got meat sauce. Meat sauce on his pasta. Those are some big noodles. Yeah. More bread. Again, the views. The views are unbeatable. Jay West decided to order the panna cotta. He's thriving, y'all. <laughs> Currently working off our pasta with a little <laughs> impromptu hike to a lighthouse. <laughs> higher up than we thought it was. Look how beautiful, oh my gosh. You can literally see everything now. Good morning. It is the next day and we are already packed up our suitcases, all ready to go because we're headed to Florence 
today. And so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. We're gonna wrap up our time in Como. We'll start a new vlog in Florence. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Give him, give him one last pan. Okay, okay, okay. Land. Bye, Como. So nice. Bye, boats. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos. And we'll see you in the next one really, really soon. In Florence. In Florence. <laughs> Bye. Bye.